Last week I showed you how I cook my dal and how I freeze them and today I am going to show you how I use the frozen dal and make dishes with it. I am going to start with my favorite sambar and today I am going to show you how I make leek sambar in instant pot with a frozen dal. So let's get started. I have already added uh, one tablespoon of coconut oil into the inner pot. Here is the frozen tur dal. I am using one cup of frozen tur dal here. So as I said, uh, I have already added the oil and it's hot now. Now I am going to add half teaspoon mustard seeds, half teaspoon fenugreek seeds and one dried uh, red chilli and few curry leaves. Just saute it for uh, 20 seconds or so. Coming to the dal, I just removed the dal from the freezer and kept it outside for uh, 30 minutes. I didn't soak it in water or uh, thaw it in a special way you know I just kept it outside that's about it. Now I'm going to add the leeks uh, this is approximately 2 cups 180 grams. Leeks belong to the onion family and they look like uh, giant green onions. Like green onions we use the white and the light green part uh, but you can use the top green leaves when making vegetable stock. Now I'm going to saute this for 2 minutes. Now I am going to add uh, 2 tablespoons or uh, 30 grams of grated coconut and next uh, I am going to add some tamarind water. You know I just mixed 2 teaspoons of my homemade tamarind paste in 1 cup of water and I am just adding it here. And now a small piece of jaggery. 1 3 by 4 teaspoon salt. Jaggery is optional and adjust the salt according to your preference. Here is uh, 1 and a quarter tablespoon of sambar powder. Just mix this all gently. You know after sauteing leeks we just add all the ingredients one by one. And instead of leeks you can add veggies of your choice uh, but the cooking time varies slightly so adjust accordingly. But this sambar tastes good just with leeks folks. Just give it a try. So now I am going to add the frozen tur dal. Uh, you know I am just going to place it on top of the mix or the vegetables. I am not going to mix it or break it or do anything like that. As I mentioned before I didn't thaw it. I just kept it outside for 30 minutes. Now I am going to close the instant pot and pressure cook this for 3 minutes and naturally release the pressure. You just need 3 minutes because we didn't add any other vegetable it's just leeks and that's more than sufficient. And here it is. Just uh, gently break the dal and mix it. And now as always the final step adding cilantro. Just add some cilantro mix and the sambar is ready. As you can see I didn't add any uh, additional water. The sambar is pretty thick and as it cools down it thickens really well. Uh, I usually add a cup of hot water just before serving. You know I'm making it at around 3 p.m. so I don't want to add any water now. Uh, but you can add one more cup of water and simmer it. And uh, here is the sambar folks. You can serve this with uh, rice and also it goes really well with uh, idli, dosa and any other tiffin items. And that's it. The sambar is ready. Look how thick the sambar is. And uh, here is the diluted version. I just added one cup of uh, hot water before serving. If you feel the sambar is thin in consistency then add the rice flour slurry. You can adjust the consistency according to your preference. I hope you all like this recipe. Do give it a try and let me know your thoughts and feedback. And next week I will share how to make another recipe with a frozen dal. You know I have uh, my frozen masoor dal and moong dal as well. So I will show you what I did with those two. So I will see you next week. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe and like this video. And yeah, thank you.